And welcome back. Uh, here we are at Miss Jonas Dequino with my dear friends, Israel and Renee. And this is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, one, because it's uh, a family-run restaurant. It's one of the, the coolest and oldest restaurants here in town. And uh, I mean, you don't even realize where you're at when you're in here. You're like in this beautiful atrium. And uh, underneath the, the big mango trees, the lime trees, and it's super cool. Israel, tell us about how this restaurant came to be. Well, we had an idea of um, open a business in Cabo. Um, I didn't know what to do, but I know something that I wanted to experience as an open uh, restaurant. It was to keep something to people, the experience of being in Baja, right? To feel like they're in Baja, to feel like in Cabo, to feel like this just unique kind of place. So um, we started with a dream and we have this just fix it up to make it look yeah. you know what you, what you can see right now it's a very 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 pretty very Travel very rustic back in time yeah. yeah no the one of the the coolest things about food it is like the easiest way to say i love you absolutely like when when you when you're making like family dinner like when i'm doing it and i'm not a chef and what i make is probably a debauchery you know, it's a, two levels above macaroni and cheese, but you know, like one level below good Texas barbecue. But it's the easiest way, like I can say I love you to my like my family and my friends, because you're like you're literally giving sustenance, you're giving life, you're giving energy, and it's like for me, it's just like super romantic notion. Like, there's no greater thing than saying like I love you to the people around you. Absolutely, I and, appreciate you. Yeah, right. Yeah. And like, here, here's this meal to like to demonstrate it. And, like, I just wish I had like the, the skill and the talent to like put flavor to it more than like Montreal steak seasoning. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> or know how to correctly cut everything. <laughs> or yeah, or not cut myself. Uh, yeah. And then there's that. Because everyone knows I'm like good at stabbing myself and hooking myself. <laughs> it's a talent. Very true. It's a talent. Very true. So you had this dream, you know, you have this beautiful location. It's named Missionus de Kino comes from what the location is, right? That's correct. correct. Tell That's us a little correct. bit about that. So originally when he opened the restaurant, everyone knows who Francis Padre Kino is. And Mission, or Misiones, means visiting station. So for him, he wanted to create a place where you could come and visit and experience a moment and travel back in time. If you wander through the restaurant, you'll see everything's very rustic, romantic, and it really makes you feel like you're not in present day. So for him, it was really important to yeah, so create well, yeah. that experience yeah. for our clients and our friends and our family. It, it's really hard to believe that we are what, a block from like some of the, the big things in Cabo, yes. like you know, the, the Cabo Wabo, for instance. It's, on this street, yeah. yes, they, it is. you know, like one of the most famous, you know, hotels is across the street. Correct. You don't know. No, yeah. we're you just don't know because you're so like, you got the beautiful walls, the, the foliage, the yeah. garden away. Well, when you walk into this restaurant, um, the first thing, the first impression is that you're like back on time. You're like Cabo, like. 70 years ago, 60 years or 50 years ago, you know, people that just like has that feeling of, you know, like I'm in Cabo San Lucas. I'm not just in another tourist town and, you know, I'm experienced um, what I came here to do, you know. A little bit of culture. A little yeah, bit of culture. A little bit of culture. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. A little bit of yeah. culture. What, what are like the, the subtleties that, you know, we'll talk about food in a second, but one of the subtleties uh, that I really appreciate, and especially as a business owner, is furniture. Mm -hmm. Everyone forgets, you know, they, they see like a, a Costco or a Walmart or whatever, and they're like, oh, well, you know, you have everything that you could possibly want. Oh, yeah, you're still a thousand miles away <laughs> from yes, like, what most people consider civilization. Yeah. Right? And one of the things I always pay attention to is furniture. Yeah. And like, my, my wife and I, we love sitting on the benches, you know, because then we're like, we get to sit close, right? But, Absolutely. you know, like the, 
the neat thing is like this is sourced here it's made here it's every chairs you know artisanship mm -hmm. from here and it like that's such an underrated thing that people like they don't understand the nuance they're like oh you, like you said like it's rustic well part of that's by design and part of it's yes. because you're, you're actually using what's available and necessity is the mother of invention and mm -hmm. this invention's a masterpiece well, and where he got the furniture is in this little town called Candelaria. Okay. And there was one guy only, originally, that would make the scallop thick wood chairs. Only. And now you can find it, it's a little bit more prevalent than yeah. before, but that was it. You had to go to Candelaria up in the mountains, four-wheel drive, find yeah. this little guy that would make the chairs and the tables. I would never make it. I only have a no. two wheel job. Yeah, a lot of the furniture. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the furnitures are made with hon you know, yeah. uh, around this area materials. And you know. no modern day tools. I mean these guys are <laughs> hand carving yeah. it out. Hand but also carving it out. It's a charm and it's unique, you know, and well, adds no everything. No two chairs are the same, I'll guarantee <laughs> you that. Well, I mean no two snowflakes are the same either, yeah. right? And that's yeah. that's the beauty of creation. That's, that's the beauty correct. of expression. Like and it, again, like I was saying, like that that's something that's so underrated because that's personality. Yeah. That's actual character. Yeah. And again, it's like, you know, you've given a platform for someone to, to bring their wares, their passion to the world that complements your passion. Yeah. You know, not only are you like making this, this beautiful meal and presenting this beautiful meal, it's presented by like the hard work, effort, and passion of generations before you and before me and before us. Yeah, and, you know, that's and, it's, and it's cool. And it's from here. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You know? And it adds to the experience. Absolutely. Our restaurant would not be the same if we were sitting on plastic and metal. Right. It just wouldn't be the same. We have to, from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave, we want the whole thing to be an experience. Even if it's just little touches that you might not see, it's important for us to know that it's there. So, however many, like a year or two ago, we, we, uh, Katie, you know, made sure that, you know, we were coming back and, and eating here. And uh, I've eaten here many times. I'd never had papaya sauce before. All right. So I got to bring this up because I think this story, as I was told by you, was integral in, in some of this because, <laughs> oh. like, I mean, I mean, Katie's over there yeah. with a loaf of bread. Just, yeah. Diming out Katie for like eating lots of sauce. <laughs> Katie, don't blame you. I married him for the sauce. <laughs> well, tell us that. Tell us that. No, so the sauce. The sauce. First of all, it's dairy free and I can't have any dairy. So to have this incredible creamy sauce that has a hint of heat, yep. tons of flavor, and you can put it on anything and it's delicious. I mean, an old boot, and I would eat that boot if it's covered in this chapaya sauce. I, I, I would too. But it's incredible on seafood, like fish, shrimp, scallops, octopus, and it's also amazing on pasta. And it's an old family recipe from his side of the family, from yeah. Veracruz. Yeah, from, from Veracruz. Um, it's a recipe from that area from my hometown. It's a uh, t tiny little pepper. We call them chapaya, which is totally different than all the peppers. That's why the sauce has the unique flavor because we use that type of chili. And then all the uh, ingredients are family recipes that I have to introduce into our dishes here. And just people love it. It's, and the sauce is really good. I mean. We've been here a long time, and a lot of people know us uh, for the dishes that we have. And they always come back and they want it. Can I have that sauce that I had last time? I mean, they're, they're like so good. You know, it's, it's addictive. Like, it's oh, good. <laughs> a bowl with chips. Done. <laughs> Done. It, it, so, it's addictive. Yeah. yeah. But it's also very versatile. Yeah. You know, and like that yeah. you're saying, you're putting it on yeah, we, fish. We, and I've, I've eaten it here on crab. Yeah. Yes. I've eaten it on octopus. I've eaten it on shrimp. Uh, pasta, bread. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yes. Yeah. You know, Jessica's had it that way. Uh, yeah. No, it, it's it. You call it crack, but it's definitely like yeah, and, it's, and, it's and, addictive. And it's just one of the dishes that we offer here. 
and as you know we got a, a standard menu from seafood uh, Mexican, Mexican and some Italian food we do the combination and we uh, own recipes here you know it's all fresh yeah. prepare every single day and we have a uh, uh, also um, fish of the day you know whatever is the catch of the day and well, let, let's talk about the the combination of, of Mexican and Italian like because that's like that's a, a very personal yeah. influence right yeah 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 well um, we uh, experience with different sauces and how to introduce and introduce Italian with the Mexican. So that's how we came out with a few recipes uh, and just kind of play with it, you know, uh, with Italian food. So we came out with few plates, with few plates and dishes that they're really good, like the uh, risotto with chicken and chupaya and, you know, different other, other, other dishes that we can Taking offer. two beautiful dishes and somehow infusing them together. Yeah. The Mexican influence, the Italian influence, and bring them together so you have a culinary experience. I mean, everyone can do Mexican, everyone can do Italian. Make them dance everyone, together, but, yeah. make them <laughs> dance together. Well, we get, yeah. That's yeah. good. Not, That's not good. everyone can pull just one off, but no, it, one of the things that, you know, personality goes so far, and y'all's personalities all over this place. You know, oh, like, you. no, like, and that, I, I know that probably, I wish it sounded more complimentary because it, it really is like, uh, you know, I admire you for y your waterman skills. Like you're, you're more than a pretty face that can cook. Like, <laughs> oh, Toby, whoa. don't go that far. Don't go that far. You're an accomplished surfer. Yeah. You, you, you've shown me one of the coolest videos of whales I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know, like, you know, we got my, my man here, like, that has done amazing underwater work and some great drone work. But, I mean, you've, like, flown over whales and, like, filmed it and, like, just shown them in their natural beauty. You know, you, you truly enjoy the water. You're passionate about the water. Like, I've, I've heard stories about, like, when you get in the surf, everyone's like... <laughs> there he is. Like, oh, I just love it, you yeah. know. I just, it's a passion. It's... I love cow, I love the water, I love everything. So it's just a passion, you know, it's just something that I, I really enjoy, you know, doing it. Well, <laughs> when you're passionate about something, it, like, my dad used to talk, you know, and I think he stole it from like Bruce Lee, but you know, when, when you fill like a cup up and, you know, like with passion, it, it finds its way into every pore and every hole and just leaks out into everything you do and it just like explodes with like in every like that's what i said like your personalities are all over this place and it's cool and, and your family yeah like, yeah you know, this is what's work here you know like yeah this I've, is what's built with your grandkids right you know, like, yeah like it's cool like yeah, it's, I, I love it's a family it. business that yeah, was built important. uh thinking in the family you know thinking uh work together you know and help each other and and, and enjoy you know the this restaurant as a family and it has and it has uh you know we have some amazing moments with families with friends and also everyone who comes here they become um, not almost but becomes a family Maybe. they come back every year they they we talk about experience we talk about yeah. the food we talk about the their grandchildren family, are family. now bringing their children here. Yeah. So it's, it's like generations, years, so it's, 26 years. It's the most amazing. It's the, been so uh, the great. Pictures. There's pictures of red rum sport fishing. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, Ryan and Brooke yeah, yeah. and Luis and John. Like yeah. With the big it, tuna. Yeah. <laughs> with a pretty good tuna. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, like there's other things, you know, like from other, you know, other families. Uh, you know, like me personally, you guys have made feel really welcome in town. Yeah. You know, like. And you know, I'm here a lot. A lot of times, you know, you know, very focused on work, mm -hmm. and you know, my wife's not always here, so it, you know, it's kind of lonely at times. You know, like, and you know, the the folks in the office, you know, they get you know, they get tired of the boss, and you know, like, I, I got to enjoy your birthday with you last year. That's and correct. The uh, 
I didn't get drunk. <laughs> but I had a good time though. Had a really, <laughs> really good time. But no, like I, that that's part of it. I, I guess it was probably eight years ago or ten or maybe more. Yeah. Like the first time I came and it was with the veteran program and yeah. we're doing that again this year, yeah, Operation correct. Build yeah. Fish, where you like gonna have yeah. the veterans here, you guys right. generously host yeah. them and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, like my wife says, we like to keep back. You know, and we're very honored to do that all the time. And have them here and every time they've been here it's amazing. Because you know we get probably more out of it than them. You know? I mean it's just a wonderful it, thing to do. That really is a two way street, you know, like uh, uh, gratitude really goes two ways. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, from a veteran perspective, like not a not a day goes by that I'm not grateful for my life. Yeah. I'm not grateful. I, I I am absolutely grateful for every opportunity that's presented to me. I try not to squander it, and uh, it gratitude's a two way street. Yeah. And when when it's reciprocated. And appreciate it. It just it it means a uh, it means a little bit more. But back back to uh, family. Another thing that I love about you guys is without compromise, you are closed on Sundays. Absolutely. Family time, like you do not compromise. That's an unwavering. That's a non flexible standard. Uh, is you know like as sad as I get, you know, like, because I like to eat on Sundays, yeah. too, but the, uh, no, I, I love it. Like, I love yeah. how you guys, and and stand up for that, because, yeah. like... Yeah, family is what it's all about. It, ab absolutely, and, and here, like, in town, you know, I feel like a lot of people sell their souls for three dollars, and, mm -hmm. you know, by, like, having that unwavering, non-flexible standard, you'll make thousands of dollars more because of the respect that people know that you care about your community, you care about your family, and you know, it, it's more than just money. This is like actually, Absolutely. It, you know, it, it's- it, it, it couldn't be any other way. Yeah. You know, family is, family is everything. And it's you know. important for us that our employees always can count on Sunday with their family. We will never be open Christmas Day. We will never be open New Year's Day, regardless of what day of the week it falls on. It's about more than that. And I'm sorry, guys. No, don't don't be sorry. Like we we don't fish on Christmas. Yeah. I mean, we've had people yeah. offer ridiculous amounts of money to come in on a Sunday, and we're like, no, sorry. No, like, sorry. That, that's that's as it should be. Like, yeah. if it if something means that to you. You need to stand by your conviction. Yeah. That's why mm -hmm. the word conviction is, is, is so like it, it, it's a finality. Yeah. The we get since this is a fishing podcast and we're like talking about family and stuff, but like fish. All right, like you as a waterman love fish, and you guys do a a better job of fish than anybody. I've seen in town yeah. and like our clients this is like our number one place to send people except on Sundays <laughs> and uh, no like uh, yeah, some other businesses you know like they, they just they don't have it done they well unless don't have uh, it. unless we cook at our home and you bring the fish yeah. then right. we do it then it's different that's right? different that's well, uh, different right, well, and yeah. bring a bottle of wine too yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been known <laughs> I've been known no the uh, I mean the the variety at which you can satisfy everyone's palate, you know, yes. like, and seafood and fish are a, a very delicate thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, you know, just due to lack of exposure, here it's the staple of the diet, yeah. but in, in the United States and in Canada, where, you know, the vast majority of the clientele come from, it is not the staple of the diet. Yeah. No. You know, like, they're, that's a meat and potatoes type culture. And so to, have uh, the amount of seafood uh, here uh, over overpower the amount of meat and potatoes that mm -hmm. you get in town. You guys really do an amazing job, and that's one of the things I always tell our clients: is like, you know, you're gonna get it so many different ways. Not just breaded. N Not just breaded. Yeah, and no. which is great, but like. 
the Veracruz, the chapaya sauce, like coconut mm -hmm. mango. Yeah, we've been doing the it. Thai we, teriyaki chili. <laughs> we've been no, like, it, it, the it, it, so many, so many dishes. I yeah. mean, we can go on and on and yeah. on. And uh, over 27 years, we've been um, preparing your dishes for your customers that you, you know, your friends that you yeah. send us with fresh fish, and everyone leaves very happy because the um, dishes that we offer them, they, they just they're love culinary it. Dishes. They're culinary dishes. They're culinary. I mean, they're, they're, they're masterful. We know, we know how to do it, and and I mean, it's proof that you, that your customers love it. I mean, everybody oh, yeah. loves. All the recipes, the sauces. Now, first of all, yeah. we didn't options. do all the work. They brought in the fresh fish. All the options. So we started yeah. with a good base. Yeah. So, so, somebody did some work there, too. A little bit, a little but, bit. Little but, bit. I mean, to, to satisfy just such a broad spectrum of palates. I mean, that that's, yeah. again, like, it's one of those things that people don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, it has to be identified because that's... It's tough. It is so hard to do. Well, you want to do the savory. You want to do the sweet. You want to do the spicy. And we like to serve it family style because the meal should be enjoyed as a family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So That's it also true. creates the fun of all, you know, joining in on this big dish, you know, of course, having their own plates, yeah. but enjoying the Snacking experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, then just, and then discussing, you know, which one was your favorite? And yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's, you know. and that's like a, a huge conversation piece right, right there. there. It's like, because yeah. usually, like, I only get through three. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I, then I'm like, oh man, I gotta like. I know, as soon as that chapaya fish gets on there, fork goes in. I mean, they always, always you uh, customers bring in so much fish that they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, do you want us to cook it all? Yeah. I mean, we can actually do more dishes with different ingredients. What do you want? Yeah. Oh no, we brought so much. We can't have any more. Oh, it's so good, you know. What a great problem to have. I know, right. I yeah. know. Well, and Cabo was Correct. founded on fishermen. 100%. So this is a very old tradition. Cabo wasn't the nightlife place. Cabo wasn't any of that. It was sport fishing only. The, the amazing so fish is here that, you know, people still catch and, yeah. and get the chance the to bring them and, and enjoy it, you know. The, yeah. We, you know, obviously so many people come here for that Hemingway moment. Mm -hmm. You know, they want mm -hmm. that bill fish. You know, they, they imagine themselves on the Pilar and, you know, they're the old man on the sea and the, they're having this epic, you know, battle. Yeah. But they forget about everything else, the mahi mahi, or mm. dorado. I, mean, I should say it correctly here. Yeah, it's dorado. dorado. Yeah, the the tuna, the wahoo. The wahoo. Yeah, there there was a fish yeah. I didn't even know existed until I got here called trigger fish. Yeah. Which is the goofiest, big-eyed, buck-toothed, flat-looking fish that I've ever seen in my life. And you know, like now, like like I, when I snorkel, I like look for them because I'm like. You're delicious, buddy. Right. You're delicious. I got my pocket of chapaya <laughs> sauce. Come here. But it's like, we, there's there's so much out there, such yeah. a bounty. This is one of the most special fisheries on, on Jacques the Cousteau's playground. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. It, it was Jacques Cousteau's playground. Yeah. And, you know, the funny thing is, like, what brought Jacques Cousteau to, you know, the Baja is an underwater... Uh, uh, sand feature right here in the bay like literally out yeah. as the, the waterfall exit. yeah yeah and 95% mm -hmm. of the people that are swimming right at Pelican Rock have no idea it's what's underneath what's them. underneath the beauty it, it, it's yeah. so wild the uh, I wish they, they there used to be a mural on the old uh, packing plant but it's not there anymore I wish you know my, my man has uh, you know shown us uh, you show me the, the original picture you know, with the, the falls and the whales and everything right there. It's just beautiful. And mm -hmm. to know it's, I drive over it almost five days a week. And, you know, I, like, forget that this amazing phenomenon yes. right here. So many amazing things yeah. in Cabo that most people don't even know about. You need yeah. to come longer than a week. Longer than a week. Come back. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why the genesis of this is, to, like, to share with, you know, why I fell in love with this place and you know obviously fishing was the reason of course the people and the culture immediately started to overshadow and eclipse the fishing you know because like and I do the fishing so I can go enjoy these other yeah. things and I'm mentioning that people that live here local people are very friendly yeah and are very friendly this is the place that I moved 
Hero Cabo for that reason. Because I love the community. I love the people were very friendly, very, very uh, genuine. Genuine. So, uh, I, you know, everyone, you know, kind of cringe. Not everyone. A lot of people cringe uh, because of how early our day starts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to. I, I had a conversation with a client this morning. I was like, "Yeah, it's an early morning, but what a way to start your day." That and look around. Yeah, everyone's look at my happy, office. And everyone's happy. Yeah. You know, people are excited to get out on the water to enjoy oh, yeah. that fashion. Is, the yeah. captains, the mates, you know, like there's they love fishing so much and they get to share that with you. Yeah. And, Absolutely. you know, like they're bringing you into like we're all guests out there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all guests on the water. Yeah. But to like be able to introduce people to the water. Here's my favorite spot. Here's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, like everyone here is dealing with people at a great time in their life. Mm -hmm. They're here because they're on vacation. They're here because they're passionate about this. And, you know, and like now we're seeing like this is becoming a destination for more than just fishing. You know, it's, you know, it's a culinary destination now. Oh. It's becoming like almost a medical destination. It's like yeah. becoming a lot of different things. You know, and there's more to it than a four block radius. You know, like. Absolutely. Yeah. Go right. More to it. That's well, right. and I think a lot of people are starting to realize it's also the people that have made Cabo so amazing. Us being Americans, you know, we're Americanized, unfortunately, but it's like traveling back in a time capsule 50 years ago. You know all your neighbors. You sleep yeah. with your doors unlocked. Yeah. It's just a whole different experience. You can have a conversation with the person sitting next to you and not worry what do you want? What's your motive? I mean, you decompress when you get down yeah. here and you go back to those old roots and what's important? The, you know, I, I was raised in this tiny little bush community and, you know, one of the greatest social events was Friday night payday, the grocery store. Like that shows, because people had money and they could go buy their groceries. They congregated there. And, and, yeah. and there was a congregation of people and like, you know, like I, I grew up watching my dad, like, being social over a produce, being social right. over meat, and you know, you like, I get that here. I like, yeah. you, you know, I wave, you know, in the United States, you know, like I owned a Jeep for a while and I have a motorcycle, and you know, like when you pass another Jeep owner, you always wave yeah. at the Jeep owner on the motorcycle. You always like wave at give the other motorcycle. Nod. Yeah, you give the little, but uh, here, you just wave at each other. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. People just wave at each other. You know, like, everyone makes jokes about, like, how stop signs are yeah. ignored. Yeah, there are suggestions. It, but it's the most polite yeah. suggestion out there. Yeah. Like, no, pe now when they stop, honk. you're like, no, you go, no, you yeah, go. Yeah, and you're like, somebody honk. please like, go. People don't honk, <laughs> and they're like, how dare you? No, it's like, oh, no, like, come on. I was here first, but please. Yeah, go you know, ahead, like, go ahead. You know, and there's like. <laughs> exactly. And then it's there's like, other ones that you're like, that was a stop sign. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But it really is polite, you know, yeah. and it's like, they're like, there's no rules here. No, it, it's called courtesy. Yeah. You know, and like, and most people extend it in such a really neat way. I, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. No, it, it's definitely, there's all the beautiful parts of Cabo and, you know, there's the parts where we're still very much still growing. I mean, it's still We're growing real fast. It's still a small. You still have that small town experience, <laughs> yeah. though, um, and the small town. I want to say mentality, but what goes along with it, and in a good way. Yeah. yeah in absolutely. a good way, not not in a bad way. Absolutely. The uh, social media. You guys are on it. Yes. Where do we find you? You find us on Instagram, and you find us on Facebook. And Both Google on at, at Missionas. MissionasDiquino.com or just Missionas Dequino. Yeah. You'll find lots of information. Love it. Yeah, about our dishes, about the restaurant, the There's history cool of the pictures. restaurant. Yeah, try yeah. and entice them yeah. to come in. You know, wow. the the restaurant is a history here um, about Missionas, Missionas Aquino. Why going back a little bit? Why do we name it Misiones Aquino? It's because uh, Francisco Sevio Aquino was the first missionary back in late 1600s, you know. And 
it was the first enchanter between the old world and this world you know it was and when they came uh, the culture the enchanter of the culture where they bring all from the old country so I love the history about it and that's why I call the restaurant Misiones de Quino because it has so much to do with Baja history you know and the place at once was a missionary was used as a missionary so that's why we call it Misiones de Quino because they have to do with the mission and the history and so it's all connected you know it's so connected therefore we want to respect uh, the history of it also this a specific building is more than a hundred years ago was built it's quite a bit a long time ago before it's you been, and I it, right yeah, no, it's <laughs> been through a lot too so exactly it's gone through hurricanes it's gone through fires <laughs> so now we but now it's a bar we serve yeah. people in so, different ways so it makes it makes it unique it makes yeah. it history it makes it unique and make you know it's it's connected with the baja history yeah. that's why we the name of mission is Aquino came to in the play, in the play. Yeah. so what a beautiful way to describe it yeah too, like the enchanter right? yeah the uh and one of the things you also do here that you know gets me every time just the pageantry mm -hmm. uh, like the queso fondue like the, the Mexican coffee oh yeah maybe fried the ice, ice cream, cream. We, yeah. side di we do a side dish on yeah. the table yeah. the guys that work for us they do an amazing job they're wow. really good they're very friendly Magic. And, yeah. when, and, and, and actually when they do that they enjoy it yeah. like yeah they feel like oh i mean you know You're it's a like part a part of your of, experience yeah oh, exactly yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and that's what the unique about this restaurant they really enjoy it. The, yeah. the guys are really happy to do things for you and and just you know embrace, embrace it yeah you know my, my youngest uh river she's you know an aspiring artist and you know each plate comes out artistically and eating dessert, you know, like oh, the, the hand painted the hand edible. Yeah. yeah. No, like, whew. You know, yeah. I, 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 it's so beautiful. Sometimes you feel guilty about destroying, you know, destroying it. it. Right. But it's edible. But I do. <laughs> right. You're like, adios, hummingbird. <laughs> no, the guys do an amazing job. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. enjoy cooking but that's for. Passion. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, and that's and a lot of that's pride. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah, a lot of the guys that they're with us, their chef, the cooks. Been they've time. been a long time with us because we always treat them like a family again we go back to the family uh, bounding with them and they do everything out of passion they do everything with art and skills and they do, really do the best to do the dishes and the ingredients and always keep it the same so well we're gonna check out some of this food but thank you you know for taking oh, the time to thank you us. thank you cheers hey. I don't even salute. Have, thank you salute. salute see some of the beautiful cocktails yeah. you can expect yeah. while you're here thank you <laughs> i gotta hold this draw so i don't impale my nose again <laughs> I mean, I, my, my nose is a little sensitive these days. But i wonder how that happens yeah. <laughs> it, it happens yeah, it happens but israel renee thank you so much and thank you uh, i look forward to what we're about to show everybody and Oh, you definitely. Know, like, it's going to be awesome. But thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you here in a day. Perfect. Right Perfect. Um, yes, correct. Miss Jonas Tequino, right here in downtown Cabo San Lucas. Come say hi to Israel and Renee. Hello. Welcome. <laughs>